Hi guys, George here from Zero Pay Productions and welcome to Skyrim Saturday. Today, we're taking a look at the Second Great War by Wreath. Following the First Great War, which led to the signing of the White Gold Concordat between the Empire and Old Mary Dominion, the Second Great War looks to put an end to the ever-growing conflict, at least in Skyrim. The mod starts shortly after you've finished the Civil War questline in the vanilla game, by way of a letter. At this point, you'll have the chance to join the Old Mary Dominion, and it'll be your only chance to do so. Otherwise, your quests will be based upon which side you chose to fight for during the Civil War. As you start your campaign against, or for, the Thalmor, you'll notice several changes to the game. Wearing the armor of your faction, whether it be Imperial, Stormcloak, or Thalmor, will make the enemy hostile to you when in their territory. Wearing an amulet of Talos in any territories under control of the Thalmor will give you a bounty, and any shrines to Talos will be removed by the Thalmor once they move into a city. Each faction will have patrols around Skyrim, adding new world encounters as well. The mod features 7 new quests per side, for a total of 21 new quests, should you play each faction. There are 4 possible endings, including the possibility of a defeat. A lot of features such as siege size, number of reinforcements, and even the chance of enemy retaliation can be changed from the mod's configuration menu. The mod is only available on PC, but it can be downloaded for either Classic or Special Edition. You will need Skyrim Script Extender installed, as well as SkyUI, to gain access to the configuration menu. But without further ado, let's get started. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. You know, if there's anyone in Skyrim who's in good physical shape, it's the Courier. Goes everywhere. Runs everywhere. Is all over the place. Always finds his guy. Good guy courier. You do not know me, but I know you. You must meet me in Castle Duar in Solitude. It is of the utmost importance that you arrive as soon as possible, and please, for both our sakes, do not tell anyone what you are doing and come alone. MV. Mr. Valuable. Mysterious meeting started. Meet MV. I am doing this on the Imperial side. Because I True, always I beat the game, where I always beat the Civil War, uh, Civil War on the Imperial side, just because that's my preference. I've had so many discussions about it at this point now. If my game looks a little different, it's because I also installed a brand new EMB. Off the top of my head, I don't remember the name of it, but it is the top-rated EMB for Skyrim Special Edition. But I'll leave the information in this video. Ah. Good. You've arrived. Did you tell anyone where you were going or what you were doing? Well, about everyone watching this video, yes, but, um, no, not that many people. No, I haven't. What's going on? Why am I here? Good. Well, now that you're here, I suppose we can lose the secrecy. I am Legate Malpin Velvus of the Imperial Legion. I'm in charge of leading the defense of Skyrim from the Aldmeri Dominion. The Dominion? Why does Skyrim defending? Well, the fact that you don't know is a sign that our cover-up has worked. A cover-up? In the last few days, the Aldmeri Dominion have begun a surprise invasion of Cyrodiil. Cyrodiil? I was just there. I was just in Cyrodiil last week for, uh, for Rigmora Cyrodiil. And I didn't notice? You guys are good at this, uh, cover-up, aren't you? What? How can they just invade? It's those damned Thalmor. Fair. They're slippery bastards. They really are. All they had to do was bribe or blackmail the right people, and no one knew they were coming until they were already at the border. How far have they gotten? They've already taken southern Cyrodiil. Half of the Emperor's Elder Council are dead. Why would the Dominion do this? They want to destroy the Empire. They always have. When we surrendered at the end of the Great War, they only accepted so they had time to rebuild their forces. The Civil War in Skyrim only helped their cause by weakening the Empire. They didn't have to lift a finger, whilst the people of the Empire slaughtered each other within their own borders. Now the war is over, they've taken their chance and struck. Cyrodiil wasn't expecting them and is struggling to defend itself from the surprise attack. We are more lucky in the fact that we have time to prepare, because you can bet there is a force on their way. I mean, the reason we accepted 
the end of the first Great War and signed the White Gold Concordat was so that we could regain our strength and rebuild our forces. So we did the same thing as them, to be fair. Not defending them. Thalmor suck, and yes, they want to end the Empire and essentially just man in general. But yeah. Uh, and you want me to help. You fought for the Legion in the Civil War. The men in the Legion look up to you, respect you. I'm not going to lie. We're in a bad place. We're outnumbered by the Dominion. Big time. High Rock won't send any reinforcements because they are worried about a naval invasion from the West. We are trying to negotiate with Hammerfell, but it's a slow process in such secrecy. I mean, the letter did take a few days to arrive, which is one thing the mod author just wants people to know is that sometimes it can take a little while for the uh, letter to arrive. So yeah, if it took me a few days to get the letter in Cyrodiil, I'm sure, or not in Cyrodiil, in Skyrim, I'm sure it took a lot longer for someone to get a letter in Hammerfell. Why all the secrecy anyway? The way we see it, if the Dominion doesn't know that we are preparing for an invasion, their first force might not be as powerful. Speaking of the secrecy, we really are trying to keep it on the down low. So even though they know about it, neither Jarl Elisif or General Tullius will speak about it, as they are the public face of the Empire in Skyrim. So don't even bother asking them about it. Alright. So what do you want me to do? There is a fort near Alfdund, which is acting as the Thalmor's main headquarters. The embassy near Solitude is just a front for the public. We need you to go to this fort and take out all Thalmor members within. No one can live, lest they get away and tell the Thalmor that we are on to them. Alright, I'll head there right away. Thank you. You are doing us a great service. And remember, no one can know about this. No one can know. I definitely won't tell anyone. You guys watching this, you can keep a secret, right? Staying safe, I hope. I just look in the comments and someone's like, Hey, Thalmor! Guess what the Empire's up to? stories about you. And you just tweet at the Aldmeri Dominion. It's like, hey, secret mission going on here. Thought you guys should know. Alright. Infiltrate the Thalmor Fort. Now let's see where we're headed. Okay, Fort Snow Shield, which is right near Snow Point Beacon and Driftshade Refuge. Uh, yeah. Probably just best to walk from Snow Point Beacon. The one thing I'm curious about is just in regards to what the Civil War, or what the Second Great War, will mean for all of Cyrodiil, according to uh, the mod and its story. Because, obviously, we're only dealing with the war here in Skyrim. Whether you're fighting for the Empire, the Stormcloaks, or even the Thalmor. Uh, no matter... So no matter what you do, it is only going to resolve the conflict in Skyrim. Just because that's really all it can do without without adding all of Tamriel. And suffice it to say, no one's done that yet. No one has been able to do all of that yet. But I'm just curious how uh, things wrap up story-wise. But I'm, like I said, I'm sure it's just going to be the thing of, we've won, we've won Skyrim. The same way that the Civil War is about winning Skyrim either for the Empire and they can hold on to Skyrim, or for the Stormcloaks, and they have an independent Skyrim. Which, I'll just say, once again, before getting too much into it, is just the thing of... Oh, the door glows with magic. Attempt to disarm it. Okay, I wonder if you can fail that, and if you have to find another way in. But to me, it's the thing of... The Empire holding on to Skyrim means a chance for um, the Empire as a whole to just be stronger as a result and hold a little bit more ground. Just because the Empire has a larger 
total force. Hello there. It seems we have a fresh catch. Hey! Let me out of this cage. This was a goddamn trap. And why would I do that? So it appears the Imperials have finally found us. I hadn't imagined it would take so long. So, you must be the agent they sent to take us out, hmm? I must say, I didn't expect them to send some common mercenary to do the job. I'm rather insulted. I'm rather insulted. I'm no common mercenary. I'm the goddamn Dragonborn. I'm George Arcady of the Imperial Legion. You won't be so cocky when you're lying, uh, lying dead in a pool of your own blood. Wait, you're making a mistake. No, I'm no common mercenary. Are you now? How nice. I am Aldorilaw. Not that it matters. I shouldn't think you will be alive long enough to need to remember it. So it seems, this is the end of your journey. I think I'll send your head back to your leaders in solitude. That should send a strong enough message, I think. Well... Any final words before I send you to oblivion? I think it's a little too strong of a message. Uh, if you release me, I will leave peacefully. No one has to die. Wait, just think this through. I could be useful to you. Or come on then, let's see what you've got. Okay, and this is if we want to join the Thalmor. Would you guys be interested in seeing this from the Thalmor perspective as well? Obviously, I'm not going to join the Thalmor for the initial run-through, but would you want to see uh, a Thalmor perspective after I show off the Imperial perspective? Let's see what you've got, punk. Ha, huh, such arrogance. Someone there. I doubt anyone will miss you with an attitude like that. It's a little rude. I, I know we're enemies and everything, but... A little rude. Okay, alright. Okay, let's back up a little bit. Hey! Whoa! Hey, where'd you come from? We're surrounded! We're, I'm surrounded, there's no we. Oh god, they're just pouring out of every... Every corridor, every hallway. Hey, you! You get out of here now. Oh good, I've lost them. They don't know how to open doors. Never mind. Never mind, they learned how. They learned how to open doors in their own fort. Okay. I was trying to shout. I guess I just don't have a shout equipped at all. No, I don't. That'll show me. Let's do... Fire Breath. Yeah, that's right. Don't you see? Elvin supremacy is the only truth. Oh, that's a new voice line. Oh, that's nice. I always like when mods add custom dialogue for stuff like um <laughs> just like uh battle dialogue and uh, combat. Hello? Ha! I found you! You did find me. What you gonna do about it? Hmm? Huh? See, they're playing the battle music for you and everything. You wanna... No? Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, we might also just raise difficulty as well. Oh no, is this gonna be a goddamn torture chamber down here? I mean, I see the torture rack, so the answer's gonna be yes. We have some Stormcloak armor. Oh, Amulet of Talos. That's mine. That's for me. I know they're illegal, but we're already at war, so uh, go figure. I don't really care. Well, we cleared it out. I'm just looking to see if there's anything else I need to take from here or anyone I might need to interact with. Because, hey, what if they have a prisoner? They have a torture chamber. What if there's someone here that I actually have to free? Oh. Okay. Never mind. You stay right there. You keep on, uh... You keep on being you. 
requires a key. Oh, an Imperial Captain. With nothing really on him. One of the soldiers just might have a key, if anything. Okay, so we were on Adept. I turned it up to Expert just to see how that goes. If it turns out to be just way too hard, then we'll just switch back to, uh, to Adept. Because some of them I would kill in one hit, others took a couple more hits. It's not like I took a ton of damage, but I'm also a level 81 character, so... You know. That's the thing. I have... I don't want to necessarily say a high-level character, because I know there's people who will get to... You know, level 120, or even higher than that, just since there is no level cap, but... Frankly, the way I see it, 81 was the original level cap before they essentially uncapped it and they added the legendary skills. So to me, level 81 should still be considered what I guess I would call endgame for Skyrim, just because it is the thing of... Oh, we got someone down here. It is the thing of, like, that is how the game was originally... Intended slash oriented. Never should have come here. I think it's mainly the thing of. <laughs> I think it's mainly the thing of. Yes, you can be higher, but that was the original intention for the um, level cap, and a lot of things were probably balanced around that. But then it's also the thing of different mods balance things differently as well, so you never know what difficulty might suit a uh, mod best. Sometimes it's the thing of, okay, this was oriented towards a certain level, uh, or all the enemies will scale depending on your level. And we've run into different situations in different mods. I've had mods where I had to turn the difficulty all the way up, and some enemies would still die immediately, which means that maybe I was too high level for this, but I also run across mods where it's like, you need to be this high level, because it's just going to destroy you anyway. Uh, acting commander of Fort Snowshield, because I just forget how to say his name. It's Al Daralar. Uh, I understand that writing messages to this fort is forbidden, except in the case of the utmost importance, but I believe that this is one of those times. As I write this letter, the Imperial Legion is preparing to march upon Windhelm. Oh, do they hold Windhelm? Despite our best efforts to prolong the Civil War, it seems it is finally at an end. I've already sent word to our superiors in Alinor. I am awaiting a reply, but I believe we both know what the response will be. The Dominion will not be stopped this time. There will be no compromise with the Empire. I'm sure you have many things to prepare, as do I. Glory to the Aldmeri Dominion. Signed, Ellen Wen, first emissary to Skyrim. Also known as the biggest bitch in Skyrim. Dwemer book note. The various scribblings and notes appear to be an attempt to translate the Dwemer language. So probably not important, but I'm going to take it anyway. Along with this, because it seems like they're doing some sort of research. That's one of those small things where... I just like that it's included. It's like, oh, okay, what else are they up to? And it's kind of just a look into... The fact that they're up to multiple things. They're not just here to fight the war. They're also trying to do research on the Dwemer and... Stuff like that. Alright, back to Solitude. I like that his name updates once you know his actual name. You're back. So how did it go? It is done. Also, they were expecting us. I feel like I should mention that. Good. That should help us. At least in the short term. I also realized that in that note where it says, oh, they're about to move on uh, Windhelm, that's not talking about the Thalmor holding Windhelm. That was them talking about the Stormcloaks holding Windhelm. So I, I realize people probably mentioned that already, but I'm just realize, or I'm just commenting now that I'm, I'm aware that they were talking about the Civil War, not about the Thalmor's uh, territory. So what's the latest on the war? The Dominion is cutting its way through Cyrodiil. But our soldiers are giving them a hard time, so we have more time to prepare. What now, then? Well, in preparation for the invasion, we have begun moving supplies to the border to begin reinforcing our defenses. 
Unfortunately, we have lost contact with our last shipment. It seems that the Thalmor have a stronger presence in Skyrim than we initially thought. I had hoped that fort was all of them. Anyway, when we last heard from the convoy, they were at Whiterun, on the way to Falkreath. You should head down the road west of Whiterun and find out what has happened. With any luck, they have simply run out of parchment, though I doubt that's the case. So be on your guard when you get there. May the Nine protect you. Yeah, that's right, the Nine. You got that right. The Nine? We are in a full-blown war with the Dominion. I don't believe the White Gold Concordat applies anymore. I'll be on my way then. Very good. Long live the Empire. It really is also the thing of, hasn't it been either proven or determined, for the most part, that Talos really is a divine? So it's mostly just the thing of, the Dominion wants to erase worship of him because they want to essentially erase Talos from reality. But, other than the fact that they don't like Talos, I think there really isn't much, much proof necessarily that um, he wouldn't have been a divine, and there's no reason not to worship him as a divine. I went to look at Whiterun originally, because he said take the road west from Whiterun, but it's a very long walk. Since it has where the convoy is marked, what we'll do is we'll walk along that road, but we'll walk from Blow to Man's Grotto instead. Huh? Oh no. Alright, now's not the time. You get the hell out of here! I don't have time for this. Yeah, okay. Okay. He's not even hostile. Is the thing. So, that makes me a little concerned, truth be told. I'm just going to go about my day. You go about your day, I go about mine. Everything's going to be fine here. I don't know about you guys, but I'm always very picky when it comes to ENBs and which EMBs I like. And there's a lot of times where I'm just kind of jumping between a lot of ENBs and trying to find one that I really like more than others. I like this one. I feel like it has a good balance in terms of lighting and contrast. This one is also... I'm using the version that's compatible with Climates of Tamriel, because I love Climates of Tamriel, and I always use it. I think it's just my go-to weather and atmosphere mod. I know there's a lot of other good ones, but over time, I've, I've, I've determined that Climates of Tamriel is probably my favorite. Okay, so even on expert difficulty, it's not really too hard necessarily. I mean, look at the damage I'm taking versus the damage I'm dealing. But because we're going to have stuff like sieges and large-scale battles, I'm not sure if I want to turn it up anymore. Hey, you're stuck in there. Yeah, that's right. You stay right there. Although I do need a heal up. I do need a heal up. Oh boy, oh boy. Hey! This is why no one likes you. You're goddamn racists. This is why people don't like you. You're literally going around saying that we're dogs. It's a little insulting. <laughs> 